All right, what's going on guys? So I'm going to make a video today talking about my story uh, trading at 14 years old and kind of how that was. It was sparked by a comment I saw below and I wanted to give you guys an update. I got a little bit sick over the weekend, some food poisoning, peeing out my butt type. I won't even get into it, but that's why I, I, I like the four videos a day, but I want to know what you guys think about those four videos a day, if that's too much. And again, if you're new to the channel, you're probably wondering why I don't show my face. I have a video on that. And also, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the post notifications. Someone commented that, because if I'm posting four videos a day, you know, even more than one a day, make sure you don't miss them. So, what I want to talk about was, and you know what sparked this, my comment, someone commented on the Robin Hood video, and it was talking about, he, you know, I brought up how when I was 14, I was trading on the T-Mobile sidekick. So, and he said, wow, that's nostalgia. And it really made me think, uh, you know, wow, like it's crazy that how much has changed. And if you guys think about the times when I was trading back then till now, so much has changed. And I wanted to share a little bit with you guys about my story of how I got into trading and, you know, the differences and, you know, what that means for you guys today. And like you guys, honestly, at the end of the day, you're in a great era you know there was no josh answers that existed when i started trading you couldn't go on youtube and reach out and talk directly with successful traders you couldn't get a bunch of free youtube videos you can even pay someone to teach you unless it was some just really weird shit i don't even think that existed so i thought that was cool but to get into my story you know i started at 14 years old some of you have already heard this story if you've ever been to any of my webinars or if you've asked me um, I got into it through my brother um, and he showed me Jim Cramer. Uh, I remember it was a summer and you know I didn't have school he was at home and you know at one point you know before my brother started getting into real estate he was valeting cars at one point in his life you know is so again another promotion towards real estate right there but it's crazy how I saw him change his life around and but we were sitting there and I come downstairs and usually we watch prices right in the morning um, it was like middle of the day, Prices Right wasn't on, and he um, <laughs> he had Jim Cramer on the screen. I was like, what's this? He was like, watch. Like He said, this crazy white dude goes up on TV, talks about a stock, and everybody makes money, and everybody gets rich. And I was just like, N I don't know about that. You know, I was really skeptical. I was a very skeptical kid. You know, I liked money, though. Uh, I always liked money. And I was like, no way, that's bullshit. Like, Come on, what are you what are you saying? And he's like, go oh, watch. And you know, I watched the show. He was very high energy. I was excited about it. But then I said, that's what, how I started looking into the stock market, and that's what I would do. It, you know, I got into the stock market and I found out pretty much what my brother said was was true, but in a different degree. You know, that he would talk about stocks, they would go up, and I was understanding, you know, how and why and how people made money. And I was already into like, you know buying and selling stuff online and going on Craigslist. I was always entrepreneurial in that. So I was like, oh, it's the same exact thing. Instead of buying an item though, I'm just buying a stock and I have access to it at a very wide range and I already have buyers. So I thought that was really interesting. And so I really got into it. I started reading and I told him I wanted to learn more. He got me Jim Cramer's Mad Money, Watch TV and Get Rich. Uh, that's a good book for all of you guys to read even at this level. It got me into the fundamental aspects of stocks and how they worked and you know what caused them to go up and things like that. And, and that's what, thank God it got me on that because I was very, you know, I didn't learn how to day trade and do all that stuff early. That was a, a really, I think a critical point that I started with fundamentals and just basic investing like you know he was advocating for these you know older investors and stuff you know it's Jim Cramer so I learned how to do it and then I find you know I had money saved up I had about two thousand bucks from selling stuff online all the money I had at, at 14 years old and I let him know I said all right man like get me on like I want to do it so he made me an account uh, put it in his name and signed off on it for me you know uh, so then that way I could start trading and I even went I took some of the money I had I got my own phone plan and that's how I got my own T-Mobile sidekick because I was this was 2007 and you know this is one of the only times where internet on phones was coming out so I was like alright perfect I could go trade and then that was it and you know my teachers knew exactly what I was doing because a month or two or three months probably before I started actually trading I was in class reading these Jim Cramer and investment books and uh, like Intelligent Investor was another one of those after I got past it and my teacher was always asking me, uh, I had a bunch of different teachers, I remember my English teacher, I made a deal with her and I said can I read this during independent reading 
because uh, I was like, I don't want to read these other crappy books. I was already a good student. I was just like, let me read this. I'm trying to learn how to trade stocks. She said, fine. She's like, as long as you, you know, trade my account when you get older. I said, fair enough. I, you know, if you're watching this, uh, hit me up. I will gladly trade your account now. And that was the same deal I had with my physics teacher. Uh, because one day now after I started reading the book and, you know, my physics teacher was really lax. I already, I had my account set up. And I started trading in his class and one day he caught me, you know, this is, it's crazy, man. You guys are lucky. I think nowadays kids in school, if you guys had phones, I don't know if they take them away now, but I think it's just such a wide occurrence that it's probably more lax. But I remember when I was in school, man, my freshman year of high school, if you had a phone, it would get taken away and your parents would have to come pick it up at the end. It was a big deal if you got caught with a phone. And he caught me on my phone and he's like, what are you doing? I was like, well, I'm trading stocks uh, actually. And he's like, no way. And he was like, well, you can't. I was like, please. Like, I was like, I have money on the line. I showed him my account and I had a decent amount of money above the $2,000 at that point uh, when he caught me. And he's like, all right, fair enough. He's like, same deal. And he let me trade during his class. And then I would check it at lunch and how I would have to do it. And this is what I'm saying with you guys in technology, you have access to the data, all that you couldn't actually put in a trade online like you know through the app or through the phone there wasn't an app that didn't exist so i was on my sidekick i would see the prices i would be refreshing every 15 minutes uh, i was trying to get them you know i was on delayed quotes and if i saw something i wanted to buy news came out anything like that i would call my brother or i would text him and say hey buy 100 shares of this or 50 shares of this at this price and he would execute the trade for me he was like my broker so I thought that was really cool and it, it just shows how different things are. So that's how I started trading at 14. I started with the books a few months later and now you guys even ask how long did it take for me to be successful at trading and stuff like that. Well, it took me uh, a few years because I started at 14, thankfully. It wasn't until I was like 18 that I actually started becoming immensely profitable and successful at it because I had many years to learn. I got to fall into penny stocks after about a year. I was like, oh, this is boring. I want more money, you know? And I've got, I just got to make so many mistakes all along the way. So it took me about three or four years to actually say I was a successful trader. And that's just, the market takes a long time. You know, it's worth it once you get there, but don't expect to get anything quick. You gotta definitely put in the time and work. And that's also, you know, it's crazy nowadays when I think, you know, this is how I got started. And I've even had people criticize me. They're like, oh, this Josh answer is saying this, saying that, he's so rich, how is it possible? When, you know, they're like, oh, he must have started trading. You know, I have 11 years trading experience. Like, oh, did he start when he was a kid? Yeah, I did. Uh, and it's crazy, you know, it might be crazy for people to believe for me, but when you guys look at it now, there's so many 15, 16, 17 year olds starting to trade because of the internet and I think that's awesome. And that's really how you get ahead is using the value of time to your advantage and starting now. And that's where it's crazy because I even had some kid uh, message me. I thought it was really cool, this was today. He was asking me um, you had questions on my YouTube videos with stocks, said he wanted to get into real estate and I looked through our DMs and like two years ago he was 17 arguing with me on why he should go into Tim Sykes's chat room and why he should be in penny stocks and it was just crazy to think that you know, I told him I was he was like yeah like I got out of that you know I was brainwashed like all this stuff and to see him grow I thought that was so cool and like it even shows you guys you know again there's kids doing it you could be young it doesn't matter if you're young or old you could start at any level just about doing it committing and putting in that time right here right now while you can and you guys have better technology you have apps on your phone you have the internet you guys have real-time access to stocks so that's awesome and and really the world is yours you know again that's why i don't don't get caught up like i said with robin hood trading delayed don't get caught up with penny stocks are falling for the stuff, the same exact stuff I fell for when I was 14 years old, 15 years old, 16. And I believe that because I was young and immature. And you know, you guys gotta mature financially and understand these markets so you don't fall into those same traps. But you know, use the technology you have now to live in the future, act in the future, and save your guys self some time. You don't have to go through the same shit I did. And that's lucky for you. Um, just make sure you come out with some experience, you know, try to gain that experience, but don't, you don't need to make the same mistakes for no reason. So I thought that was really cool. And that's just like a quick summary of how I started trading at 14. Obviously, there were so many plays and successes and failures in between. You know, I, I made a lot of money as a kid. You know, I've had some of my first experiences 
experiences being up so much and then losing it all and you know there's just so much to learn from penny stocks and stuff like that and just normal stocks in general and how the market worked i even remember my you know I'll wrap it up here my first earnings play was staples i think i said this i bought them i, I put a couple hundred bucks in about 100 shares i read their earnings were coming out i was just going back to school i was like oh yeah staples is gonna do good you know very elementary thinking and it worked and i made like two three hundred bucks i remember that was really exciting for me back then that was my first earnings play and i was hooked uh from there and it's just crazy to think of you know how some stuff still works the same the markets operate the same things change but that's why i'm saying again just start now get involved with it and you know even then as i grew up and i did start making money i did my first you know i made money in stocks i made money working a job put that money into real estate got profits from my first flip and i went and i bought long-term stuff of like facebook which is 10 times me which has been awesome so again that's why i always say mix in the two and all that but Hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, and there's another question too, someone put on my comment. I think it was my boy Walter. He said, do I invest in real estate um, in SD in LA? I go everywhere. I have places in Vegas and some other parts of the country, but I do prefer local. Um, but yeah, I'll buy houses anywhere, flip them anywhere. Let me know if you guys have anything. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys like it, subscribe, turn on the bell, get the notifications so you don't miss these videos and let me know what else you guys got for me. Love y'all, stay in school.